Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry, man. We got the FRS out. We're uh, rocking again. But let me shift up so that uh, quiet down there a bit. Okay, so I'm speaking loud because as you can see, there ain't no interior in this thing. <laughs> but it feels amazing to get this out. Took it out for a wash today. Got the brakes bled perfectly. Um, so much bite with these new DCT 60s um, from Hawk. Love them. So uh, let's do a quick um, walk around. We got some golden hour here coming up. And uh, yeah, let's do a walk around the car, see what's going on and what the plans are for the year. Like I said, welcome back to the channel. It's so good to have the FRS back out. We affectionately call this one Twin 6 because Dallas is, is obviously Twin 8. But again, since you haven't seen that video since the channel first began, how would you know that? Anyways, uh, we're very happy to have this car out and operational again. It's been about a year since I actually drove it. Between waiting on parts and uh, just really not having any venue last year with uh, the whole pandemic thing. So excited to get this back out. Uh, the new brakes, check these out. They're all bedded in, feel fantastic. The amount of bite these things have at uh, first press is amazing. So really looking forward to that on the, on the racetrack. One of the things you might also notice is that we have the other RPFs on. These are the gunmetal gray. Um, I forget there's a special SGB, SB, anyways, <laughs> I forget the exact name, but we haven't serenically coded these ones yet. Um, just a quick, quick detail on this car today, got it washed. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't been following the Instagram account, uh, this car is set up very specifically for doing track work, uh, carbon front splitter, carbon canards. And of course the uh, wheel and tire package that we run, which is uh, 17 by 9 NKs. Uh, for suspension, due to the bumpy roads here in Canada, we tend to run stock shocks. This car actually has the Hotchkiss uh, lowering springs. They're a little bit softer in the rear end than the iBox that Dallas is running. And then uh, Hotchkiss, Hotchkiss sorry, sways and uh, strut tower brakes. Like I said, the Hotchkiss up front here, got a different uh, cold air intake. We've also done the um, STI oil cooler mod. Um, originally we did those because we thought we were going to run the cars in the winter. Dallas does still run his, but uh, it definitely helps. And then on top, the uh, race comp engineering camber plates. Apparently I do need to clean this thing. Also, radium catch can. Because, because sucking oil into the intake uh, really does reduce your overall octane and uh, can incur knock early. Now, here in Alberta, this car is severely underpowered. We're about 3,500 feet. So um, she, uh, she needs all the breathing help she can get and, uh, as well as just um, you know not lowering that, uh, that octane rating. But yeah, that's kind of the... Uh, the Coles notes. Let's get in and take a drive. So inside we got the roll hoop for safety, some uh, energy harnesses, five point, and a little bit of a short shifter. And again, this car is dedicated for track work. Wow, it's loud. Uh, obviously, she don't have a lot of horsepower, but what she doesn't have also is a lot of weight. Uh, this thing tips the scales at about 2,600 pounds, which, uh, that's pretty reasonable. Aftermarket Tayomi header and, uh, muffler delete. It, uh, definitely helps wake up the engine, but still, again, it's all about momentum on this car. If you haven't already, can you go ahead and, uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, because we're going to keep on bringing this incredible content to you all focused on driving, track stuff, and uh, just fun in cars.
So you may be asking yourself, what's the plan for the year? We missed the first track day because of COVID and uh, obviously just a, not a very good situation here in Alberta. So we're looking forward to it. It's a postponement. Um, we still have, I think, seven more days. Don't quote me on that. I think we're also gonna try autocross if we can do that as well. So there's gonna be lots of track time, but let's talk about some of the other vehicles. So the STI, we need to do some maintenance on that. It's kind of been focused on the winter thing. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do with that car. The 4Runner, still need to get the rack built. Unfortunately, I've been kind of busy with some of the other obligations I have, and uh, that still needs to get finished. Definitely wanna do some off-roading this summer. Definitely wanna do some track work. Most importantly, I just want to actually get out and drive again. You know, this whole pandemic thing that everyone's been dealing with, it's just made it weird. So tonight, what we're going to do, we're going to head that way. We're just going to take a rip, see how the car feels, put on the harnesses again, and just enjoy it. So let's go take a ride. have to yell because it's loud and I don't have the, the big dead cat on on the camera right now but uh, I love driving at night getting out stretching the car's legs so we're gonna head on the highway here and uh, see where we get to Okay, with the sun setting here over the mountains, another uh, beautiful evening in Alberta. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely enjoy getting the car out. Um, still needs a few things. We're very focused on uh, going fast though, so stay with us. Um, I think the biggest thing that we gotta do is actually take care of the, the back bumper, and most importantly, uh, get that diffuser that I said that I've been gonna build for two years done. So. Anyways, thanks again. If you haven't already, make sure you nail that subscribe button. Gently tickle the like button and turn on the notifications. We'll be with you next week with another episode. And uh, till then, stay safe.